So I make this distinction between joy and happiness. Happiness comes when you win the game, when you get an A on your exam. Happiness comes when your number comes up in the lottery, and then it goes away. You know, that feeling. Joy is something more underlying. And you, there, you ask, how do I have happiness on a day-to-day -day basis? You don't. Um, the things that you will do, you will not necessarily enjoy. But the question is, do you have a sense that they're a part of something bigger? That's where, the, that's where the, the value and the joy comes from. You don't have to like every day, but you do get to love every day. You don't like your children every day, but you love your children every day, right? Um, and I think we have this, we've created this unrealist, unrealistic expectation that every day at work has to be amazing. Like every day of your relationship has to be amazing, and every day in your friendship has to be amazing. It's, it's just not, it's an unfair standard to put on a human being, and it's an unfair standard to put on an organization. And sometimes it's us. Sometimes. Or we can choose to change our narrative. You know? Um, I have a friend who, who moved to, uh, from a liberal city to a very conservative city, city in the United States, and she was very worried. And I said to her, it's the most wonderful opportunity in the world. She says, but I'm going to hate all these people. I said, or you can learn to listen, understand what their motivations are, and understand what, what they care about. And I bet you'll discover that your values are the same as theirs. Right? Some of it's narrative, some of it's perspective. Um, don't seek happiness. The happiness will happen here and there.